Well, it's a cloudy day today, so I think I'm going to do a makeshift pack cover on my backpack today. I don't have a dedicated pack cover that I carry with me. What I like to do is, I like to carry gear that's multi-purpose. So, you guys saw me do a video on this uh, mess tarp that I use uh, for emergency purposes. Well, I don't carry a tarp just to carry a tarp. I mean, why carry something that's only gonna do one thing? So, you know, a small tarp can do a lot of different things for you in the field. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rig up a, a quick uh, pack cover with this tarp using that and some paracord. So I laid the pack on top of the tarp. And I pulled it up tight around the base. What I'm going to do is pull this. Take a piece of cordage. Wrap it around there. And if I wanted to, I could probably If I wanted to, I could probably take another piece of cordage and run it through these tabs right here. Like this. Now hopefully that's that should be that should be flat enough that it's not gonna be too hard on my back. I don't think it's gonna affect it at all. There we go. Rain cover. Quick and easy. All right. Put the knife on, I'm gonna hit the woods. Hopefully it won't rain on us today. If it does, I'm prepared. All right, see you in the woods. So the tarp, uh, it worked great on the pack. It, uh, didn't affect my comfort level at all. It didn't dig into my back hiking in. It stayed on the, the pack really securely. And it's because it's a nice lightweight tarp. Um, you can use any kind of tarp for this application. I mean, I, this is what I have. I have the Bushcraft Outfitters 5x7. That's what I like. Uh, you could certainly use a poly tarp from Walmart or something like that. Uh, they're a lot heavier. They're noisier. Uh, they're not as durable but they're cheap so if you're on a budget that's great you could do that but um, these lightweight nylon tarps work really well as a multi-purpose item because they're so flexible and you can do so much with them so that's what I use but by all means you know figure out what works out best for you so I need to get in my bag here and uh, get some bug 
juice on me because I did not spray myself down before I came out and I'm regretting it because the skeeters are out. So I'm going to try these little uh, off towelettes. I usually keep a few of these in my pack for backup um, in case I do forget my bug spray because I always seem to forget it. It's like one of the last things I'm always thinking about when I'm heading out and I don't like to carry a big can in my pack. But, you know, another thing these tarps are good for is uh, picking up leaf litter off the ground and making yourself kind of a makeshift bed. So, so it's summer right now, and um, there's not much leaf litter on the ground. There's some, but all this could be collected and put into your tarp and made into a quick bed if you need be. So in the fall, it's really going to be an ideal time to do that because you're going to have all kinds of stuff. But if you really wanted to, you take your tarp open it up Start collecting this debris. Of course, you don't want sticks in there, but start collecting the debris, then you fold it over and straighten it out, and now you've got a place that you can actually lay down. So it's a different, another option. Another thing I want to try today is, and see if I can do this or not, because I haven't done this yet. I've never done this before. I want to uh, create a bush chair by making a tripod and then using the, the tarp as the seat, the sling. So I need to find some appropriate wood that I can cut down and make into a nice tripod. So let's see what we can find. Number 36 bank line from Five Call Survival Supply. Here's my poles. I'm going to cut down this end piece right here. It's just a little too long and it's not needed. since I've done this. I'll start off with just a big generous loop. I'll thread that through. I don't know how much I'm going to need so I don't want to cut it yet off of the, the main hank. So what I need to do is I need to start weaving this under, over, Now. 
I'm gonna go one more wrap around. And then I'm gonna come back and we're going to go the other way. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna go under. One little trick I learned from my old woodsman, if you want to pull the cordage tight, and you don't want to hurt your hands, wrap it around a stick. That way you get a nice, tight wrap. And I can spread these out just a little bit if I want to. This one. There. Just folding this in half. There's the cross piece. All right, so I've wrapped it three times with paracord. I'm gonna use the paracord because I feel it has greater strength than the tarred bank line. And since this is really gonna be hanging my weight on this tarp, I wanna make sure that this thing's not gonna break because I definitely don't want to be on the ground. I'm gonna wrap that a couple times. All right, let me show you what I got going. So here is, this is how I actually finished it off. This is my extra cordage. I just uh, ran that around the back side of this three or four times and then through here and then tied that off with this is a simple slip knot. Nothing complex, but as you can see, very tight. When you open this thing up, the looseness all goes away and this thing just tightens up on itself and creates a nice hinge. That's why you wrap it in the middle. It creates that hinge. Now for the 550 cord, wrap this several times around the neck of this gathered material. Wrapped around here a couple times. So I got two or three strands. Looks like two strands protecting me. And then the extra I just tied up in a hank so I don't have to cut my cordage. And then when, with this chair, what you can do is you can adjust it um, either out further to make it lower and recline back more, or you can raise it up and you set it more upright.
I'm not going to make lunch today. It's just too hot outside, but um, a buddy of mine sent me these, these honey stinger gluten-free organic cinnamon waffles. They're uh, kind of like a quick, quick energy snack, kind of an alternative to the Cliff Bar. And they come in all kinds of flavors. I've never had these before. So, Jay Dean, who is a really great guy and who is um, going through some stuff right now in the hospital before he left for his trip to go to the hospital, actually sent me these. Pretty nice of them. Mm. So you can't really take, you know, a big folding chair when you go backpacking or going, you know, on a long hike. So it's nice that this little piece of gear that weighs hardly nothing, and I already have my pack, I can actually use it to just set up a chair, make a pack cover, collect debris from the, the forest floor, or make a shelter with it. So multiple items. And it can be a poncho, too, in, in a pinch. So... There's no sense in not having it with me everywhere I go in all my packs. Just picking that thing up, throwing it in there. And uh, when I get to camp, I can uh, set up a nice chair. And not have to worry about toting something in. And, uh, you know, if you do this right, and you pick the right wood, the right logs for this thing, it should support your weight just fine. Now, I'm, I'm a hefty dude. I'm a big guy. And uh, it's definitely a concern when I'm picking this stuff out to make sure I'm getting the right, the right stuff. But this is all deadfall. Uh, it's really well-seasoned wood. It's been out here for a while. And just picking a good-sized diameter. This is probably about what, three inches in diameter. And then making sure I have really good wraps on with the cordage at the top. That's nice and secure. Um, and then you shouldn't have any issues. So the good thing is... I can leave this out here, this tripod out here, and I think what I'll do is I'll uh, fold it back up and stash it somewhere so the other knuckleheads that use this woods don't uh, find it and destroy it, because they will. And uh, that way, the next time I come back and I'm shooting film, I can set this up again and I have another chair. And now I'm not sitting on the ground, I'm not sitting on a wet log, I don't have to have a pad. I get my, my butt up off the ground, which is awesome. If you had to, you could probably sleep in this thing overnight. Probably wouldn't be the most comfortable thing in the world, but it'd be better than laying on the ground. If you had enough ins insulation, you know, warmth around you, cover yourself up, it'd be all right. All right, guys, I hope you found this useful. And uh, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. And also, check me out on Instagram, prepared wanderer, prepared hyphen wanderer, something like that. I don't remember. Uh, go there, go to Instagram and follow me there because that's where I post all my photos. Um, I'm not doing the blog anymore. The blog site, just no one ever was really visiting it, but everybody uses Instagram. And um, I have a lot of followers on there. I'm real happy about that. And that all my photos from my trips and just day-to-day -day stuff go on there. So check me out on Instagram. Also, check me out on Big Cartel. If you're interested in um, Prepared Wanderer stickers or Prepared Wanderer patches, uh, I've uh, got a big cartel site out there, and they're not too expensive, and I get those shipped out pretty quickly. So, All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on the Prepared Wanderer.